This question is from strength of materials for 2 marks. The plane strain compression forging of a block is shown in the figure. The strain in the z direction is 0. The yield strength in uniaxial tension or compression of the material of the block is 300 megapascals and it follows the Tresca maximum shear stress criteria. Assume that the entire block has started yielding. At a point where sigma x is equal to 40 megapascals compressive and tau xy is equal to 0, the stress component sigma y is. For this multiple choice question, the correct answer is option A. Let's proceed to the solution. We are given with sigma x is equal to 40 megapascals compressive. That can also be written as sigma x is equal to minus 40 megapascal. We are also given with the yield strength in uniaxial tension or compression, which is sigma yt is equal to 300 megapascals. And we are also given that tau xy is equal to 0. Now we know that from the generalized Hooke's law, we can write the expression for strain in z direction as epsilon z is equal to sigma z by e minus mu into sigma x by e minus mu into sigma y by e. It is also given that it is a plane strain condition. So for a plane strain condition, we have epsilon z is equal to 0. So that is sigma z by e minus mu into sigma x by e minus mu into sigma y by e is equal to 0. So when we simplify that, we get sigma z is equal to mu into sigma x plus sigma y. We have sigma x is equal to minus 40. So when we substitute that in the last expression, we get sigma z is equal to mu into minus 40 plus sigma y. Now, we know that the maximum shear stress can be written as tau max is equal to maximum of absolute values of sigma x minus sigma y by 2, sigma y minus sigma z by 2 and sigma z minus sigma x by 2. Now we will substitute sigma x is equal to minus 40 and sigma z is equal to mu into minus 40 plus sigma y in this expression and that will give us tau max as maximum of these three quantities. Also according to the Trescas or maximum shear stress theory, we can write tau max as sigma y that is yield strength divided by two times of factor of safety. Now among these three values, it can be comfortably taken that the first quantity will be maximum of these three values. Therefore, tau max is this first value with an absolute sign that is there will be two possibilities that is minus 40 minus sigma y by 2 is equal to sigma yt by 2 into f of s or minus 40 minus sigma y by 2 is equal to minus of sigma yt by 2 into f of f of s. Now to simplify our calculation, let us assume the factor of safety as FOS is equal to 1. So that will give us minus 40 minus sigma y is equal to 300, which is sigma yt value or minus 40 minus sigma y is equal to minus 300. For the first condition, we get sigma y is equal to minus 340 megapascals or sigma y as 340 megapascals compressive. When we take the second condition, we get sigma y as 260 megapascals tension. But in the question, it was given that it is a plane strain compression or in other words, it is a forging operation. For a forging operation, stresses can never be tensile. Therefore, the only possibility of sigma y is sigma y is equal to 340 megapascals compressive. 